1817. Henry Ford pioneered the modern assembly line concept to produce a single design, the Model T, in high volume so it could be sold at low cost. And that's the way most assembly plants operated for decades, one design and lots of them. But today's consumers want endless variety and more niche vehicles that might be built in the tens of thousands rather than the hundreds of thousands. And that's fostered a new way to build cars known as flexible assembly. But we wonder just what makes a flexible assembly plant, well, so flexible. And we ended up in Chicago for the answer. Unlike many automotive assembly plants, there's no ornate sign or impressive entrance. It's clear that Ford's Chicago assembly is all about one thing, building cars. And they've been doing that for 80 years. Chicago assembly began building Model Ts in the 1920s and built the popular Taurus until last year. Today, it is Ford's oldest North American plant, yet it now boasts their newest assembly technology. Chicago assembly was Ford's first flexible car assembly line able to build different vehicles on one line. Both the Ford 500 and Mercury Montego sedans are built right alongside the Ford Freestyle crossover utility vehicle. While they all share some basic components, above the wheels, the differences between the Freestyle and the sedans are almost total. You can't help but feel small when you first walk onto the assembly line floor before you is over three million square feet of space with some eight miles of assembly line. On this day, we walked every foot of it and then some. At first glance, we really didn't notice a lot of difference between Ford Chicago assembly and other plants, except that is 500s, Montegos, and Freestyle Utilities stream off the line all mixed together at a speedy pace of up to 70 an hour. What keeps that pace going, and indeed is the heart of the flexibility of this plant, is in the body shop. Here, mammoth computer-controlled welding jigs are used to assemble the chassis for each vehicle. Once the jig is in place, an army of robotic welders goes to work in a perfectly choreographed dance to build up a unitized chassis. There's a different welding jig for each body style. They move along a rail system, sliding into place as needed. Currently, two jigs are being used, one for a sedan and one for an SUV. But the plant can add a third jig for yet another body style for the capability of producing up to eight different models. It costs Ford $400 million to make this plant their most flexible. And plant manager Anthony Hoskins thinks consumers will find it was worth every penny. Flexible manufacturing to me as a plant manager really means giving us the capability of building what the customer wants, when the customer wants it. So if we're building product A and product B has a higher demand, I can actually flex my tooling to give me more product B down the same manufacturing line with the same tooling with the same people. Elsewhere along the line, there are not as many robots as you might expect. They were mostly found in tough environments like the highly sterile paint room, but otherwise, we saw a small army of men and women who are the other key to flexible assembly. Agreements between Ford and the United Auto Workers allow workers to perform more duties and change duties in a way that was not possible only a few years ago. All along the line, these highly skilled workers use sophisticated hand tools and helper systems that reduce the physical effort needed to guide such intricate items as instrument panels and seats. We couldn't help but notice that many of the hand tools look similar to the ones found in a well-equipped garage. Electric power wrenches are common at almost every workstation, but these are also smart hand tools and play a big part in maintaining quality at this plant. Each tool is pre-programmed for specific duties and torque requirements. If there's a problem, the tool's computerized controllers know instantly something is amiss and can shut down the entire assembly process. We also noticed something else different about this plant, the people. While we've witnessed many assembly line workers do their chores with a constant scowl, the men and women who are Ford Chicago Assembly were upbeat and proud, even when the cameras weren't rolling. They know they're setting the pace for Ford and for every North American assembly plant, regardless of the brand.
Flexible assembly is clearly the future of automotive production. Being able to respond to changing demand and shifting output from one model to another almost instantly. This is the flexible job that Ford's Chicago assembly performs daily, making sure that no matter what model rolls off the end of the assembly line, that when it's loaded onto a car carrier destined for any of the nearly 5,000 Ford Motor Company dealerships across North America, that it is the right vehicle for each customer, all with a rigid standard of quality that is second to none.